Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Arquez, and welcome back to Astroneer. What were we doing last time? Because I haven't been playing this for over a week now, so I don't even remember. Oh, we were building up our spaceship, which is actually ready to go out into space. And we were doing all our research and getting more fuel. We were trying to get an eternal uh, power source, right? A source of power that was eternal. Yeah, this is uh, fueling these. That is all set. And we basically wanted an internal source of uh, stuff. Oh, hello there. You're done. Okay, we have no more research specimens. Let's have a look at our research meter. We're at a thousand. We have a lot of stuff already, so that is one thing. Uh, I am actually sitting quite a bit far away from my computer. But hopefully the mic's close enough that you can hear me loud enough. Probably too loud, actually. I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to work out my setup again. I've unlocked all this. Right. Right. Okay. Um. Don't need that. I got the medium battery, so I don't really need the small one. I need to build a medium battery using the... Okay. So, we are able to recreate materials using this machine uh, and some dirt, basically. That thing just floats. So, put some dirt in here, we get a material out of it. So, we can create stuff like batteries. Uh, did I create a big battery yet, or... Do I use it for something else? I thought I would have created it by now. Oh, I got the two material parts. Right, okay. You need to press E to print. Okay, so we're, we're printing that off now. I, I didn't even realize I had the materials. So while we wait for that to print, we're going to go and... Uh, Let's gather more material. Oh, I remember off screen. I actually, uh, that's it. Off screen, I went down this way and I started creating a tether point. Because we want to get a lot of material, what I've done here is dig into the mountainside. This allows us to get a lot of material without damaging our terrain. I've uh, put a lot of stuff here so we can just go straight into it. And I'm right into the mountain now at this point. This creates an easy point of digging without we having without having trouble with the light and such. I did originally drive the car down here, but I figured I'd use the tether point so I can keep my oxygen all the way through. A lot, as well as my power, which I will be using to its fullest. That is almost done, and that will actually increase the speed that uh, the printer prints at once that's done. Because uh, it will have nothing else to build with. Now, I'm going to put two more hydrazines in here. Just so I've got two tanks left over if we need to come back and whatnot. So they're going to go into the um, machine. And then I will... Wait, what, don't I have more canisters than that? Oh, I'm using them. Right. I'm using two of them. That's fine. Um, so I'll grab this canister. And I will go... Oh, the canisters are all done, by the way. The machine no longer needs them. And that shouldn't input. There we go. It didn't input. Which means we can now take two extra canisters. And that was not meant to do that. With us when we go. So we actually have more fuel than it says we have. And that's the whole idea of having two of those on the side of there. Now I think about it. Unless there was two of you and you can plant them in both at the same time. Now we need something to go on the back of there. We need some form of uh, thing when we get there that will allow us to power and have oxygen and whatnot. Of course, the main focus area that would have that is one of these. So we will be taking a habitat with us to wherever we go, and we'll be putting it on the back of the rocket ship. Uh, just so we can start connecting stuff around. Uh, wait, does it have a power connector? Yes, it does. Okay, so we'll at least have something to start off with. Uh, we will, of course, need to take some power stuff with us to create uh, our ability to create stuff. 
Also, here's a medium battery for us. Which I'm going to put on the truck. And hopefully, if I turn this on... Okay, I'm not close enough to it. Are you serious? I, I literally have my mouse pointer over the object and I'm standing right next to it. How do you not realize that that's what I'm trying to do? I, I swear. No, that's not... It's a little bit buggy. I'm trying to turn the generator on, you stupid computer. I'm putting it on the front so I can get to it easier. Uh, are you serious? My mouse is right over it. You can tell that that's what I want to do. Why is this the same button? Okay, use works there, but not there, apparently. Is that because I'm pointing towards the ground? Nope, because that doesn't help me either. Why won't you turn this on? Now it works. Now it works. I don't... What? Just what? Okay, I need to get the organic from here. Place that on here so we'll grow to that one. And what that's doing is that's storing power in the medium battery. And then that'll automatically grab that one. Then that one. And we'll be able to drive around a lot with this. We literally will. But we'll be able to drive around because we basically got a battery pack on the back of the truck. Why is that always facing me? It seems like a waste. I want to be able to see the other side, see how much power it's got in it. Oh. Well. I mean, it does it does spin around to the next one each time, so that's good, but I don't know why it's following me. Okay, so we need to create more materials. We still have a lithium thing left over, so if we need to use that at any point. Uh, I'm actually gonna place this one down here. See if we need any. See if we got any other samples. Uh, compound, resin, organic. Oh, it even shows you how much you need in order to create that object. Oh, okay. But for titanium and lithium, it's the same. For coal, we're at the level we need. We need a sample. We don't have that. Malachite is half that level. As well as later right. Okay, so we just need the sample. Somehow I need to get the sample. So, what I need to do is I need to get the trade platform. Which, if I'm right, requires aluminium. Yeah, we need to go find some aluminium. That's what we're actually after right now. Right now that's powering that. I don't know how many is left because it won't let me see the other side. But we need to make, we need to find some stuff. So actually we need to get the truck going. Okay, I'm not gonna need this last organic piece. I'm gonna leave it on that truck. But you know what, I'm gonna bring it with me actually. I'm gonna put it in my backpack. Here's a problem, we're not gonna be able to turn this off now, am I? I, I don't know why it won't let me turn this off when it's on the vehicle, but that's really annoying, that is. Okay, so we now have a medium battery for our truck, and that's going to make driving around so much easier. Oh my god. Um, I kind of actually want to do is take these off of here put the battery at the front there so it's next to me uh, I'll put these up here for now but they'll be they'll have other uses later so let's come on I'm right next to the entrance come on you know that's not what I want you to do I have to face away from it really 
doesn't make any sense. But whatever, we, we're going to go on an adventure to find some aluminium. And we've got the... Do, do you mind? I'm trying to go forward. We've got the uh, solar power going right now, so we're alright. It shouldn't drain any of the... Really? Is that draining the truck's battery? We got no solar power and... Why is it not draining the battery from the side? Does it have to be up top? Okay, where are we going anyway? We were over here last. There's a few research items up in the trees. But that's not what we're after right now. I mean, it is, but... Ah, screw it. Let's go get it. These are only minor ditches anyway. Didn't even know these were here. How crazy is that? They're right here, and I didn't even know about them. Oh, great. We're, we're at that again. What? What is wrong with this character? Get in the freaking car! God damn it! Gets out of you easy enough. It's just getting back in the damn thing. I wonder if I can climb up the car to reach this e without having to use... Well, he, he was on the wheel before, but for some reason he just can't get up there now. Now we're actually on top of the actual cart. Can't reach it from here, but what if we were on top of the cargo? Can I reach it now? Not close enough. I'll just go over this way a bit. Okay, what if the car was a bit closer? No, I'm trying to enter the car. I hate these things being the same button. And now he gets out the front. Not the way he came in. But a completely different route. I also can't see it. Did I just push the car back? The whole point of moving into place was so it wasn't too far away. <sighs> Am I close enough? No. Okay, gotta make a mount. Do I have enough dirt in the... No, I don't. Well, there's a mountain just here, so... Whoa, there's also a big gap in it. Go to this section and start digging. This is what I've been basically doing with that mountain, is just digging out a hole. Power runs out fairly quickly. Okay, so that should be enough to make a mount next to the car. So it's alt to bring the dirt up. Throw the dirt out there. Why is this high enough yet I was in the on top of the car and that wasn't high enough? They're practically the same heights. In fact, the car is higher. How the hell did that not reach? Get the the smaller mound reached. I'll get in the dam. Would you, would you get in the damn car? Get in the damn car! You are literally in the seat. Just get into it. Stop it. Oh, it's like... Wait, what's that over there? I don't see it well enough. I could potentially go over this area. I think it's going to start into the battery soon. Either that or for some reason the car will suddenly go off. 
the car goes off. And it started using the battery, so it did exactly both of those two things I mentioned. But it's not making any driving noises anymore, which is very odd. Huh. I didn't think we could get over here before. Ooh! Crashed ships is very weird without the whole engine noise. There's two crashed ships over here. That's good. More materials for me. Ah, uh, no. Getting in here is going to be a nightmare. Getting back out is going to be even worse, isn't it? Also, that is a device I can pick up. Really? We're that far away from the truck? I'm right next to it. I am literally right next to it, and I'm hovering over it, and it has the option to enter it. Why won't you work? This is broken. It's just broken. There's nothing more you can say about it. It's just broken. Yeah, there's definitely materials in there, though. So I'm going to have to place some dirt. get in here. I don't know what that was. That was aluminium. That's more titanium. I have so much freaking titanium now. It is ridiculous. I will take the dirt from the bottom of this truck, uh, from the bottom of this container. Is there anything else in there? It looks like it was just that it was just those four points. And the chair. That's a great thing to do. All of a sudden, titanium, aluminium, and resin. Makes me wonder what's in the other one. If we got so little from this one. Let's enter the car already. Enter the car! I don't know what decides whether it, it, it can enter or not, what not, what it... What decides what, what can enter and what can't enter? There's more stuff here, I know there is. I, I'm, I'm actually stuck on top of whatever this pot, whatever I'm on top of. I actually have to get out of the car in order to fix this. Thanks, car. Appreciate you not letting me back in once I've freed you from your predicament. It's like you have a mind of your own and you just don't care. Oh, you're not free. It's that thing. Oh, shoot. And I'm not in the car. Get in the car! No, don't. No! We want to get in the car, quick! Why won't you get in the car? I'm in! Oh, but is this the wrong one? Is this gonna kill me? I'm not moving. Okay, this is the one with the bricks. We're alright. We're all good. It looks like it's we're in daytime as well, so it's also recharging the car. And I'm stuck in a way that it actually pushed me off that, so I may have already moved it though. Now I gotta wait for this to pass over. Looks like it wasn't that close to us, so we're 
kind of good in that respect. The car is going to keep recharging until it gets to a point where... It is weird how it turns the engine off, but it continues to move, which is really odd. But I get it. It, 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 it does it like that on purpose. Okay, you're gone. And now the car is in the most awkward spot, right? But you know, this might actually be helpful. We got some aluminium. It looks like more aluminium. So we got quite a bit of aluminium from this. This is the right place to go. Bit more aluminium. And some copper. The car is in the most awkward spot for trying to see what's what. No, you want to get in the car. You want to get in the car. I feel like I should just do that Jedi thing where you, you put your hand over your face and go move it across. You want to get in the car. I want to get in the car. I want to go home and rethink your life after this joke. I want to go home and rethink my life after this joke. <laughs> that's not the Jedi mind trick. That's literally just the way I'm thinking right now. Thank you for pointing out that that is titanium. Can can you, can I pick it up? Would that be a possibility? Or are we just going to point at it and say, this is titanium? Is that? God knows, that's what we've been doing. Wait, could I have gone around the back? Mm, not really. Okay, so we got some spare materials. But we quite literally can't place right now. Oh, wait, yes, we can. I put the copper on the back of the car. See, I knew the car was in an odd place. But, this means we also... I think it would be better to have you on the front so I can see whether you fall off or not. I guess the titanium's not that important. It's a rare material. We can trade for other materials. But, for us, it's actually quite useless. I didn't mean to extend that. Buttons! <laughs> for us, it's actually quite useless. Anyway... We are going to head back to the base. I don't think we have any more need of staying out here. Oh, work first time that time. I couldn't be like that every time. Back to home base we go. Not the shop. Back to our base that's our home. And it's confusing. <laughs> so now that we've got all this lithium, we actually got quite a bit of it, surprisingly. And we got some copper as well to go with that. So uh, we can't, we have to have a later item in that, don't we? To replicate. It's very odd and. Which way was home base over there? We have to go around though, because there's some slight gorges here. All right, here we go. Don't worry, the car still drives. That's just the main engine turning off. Actually, a lot more peaceful without that whirring noise as well. But the whirring noise does make it easier to tell whenever I'm going or whatnot. Now the terrain's affecting me. Right now it's just making a noise and then boop every so often. Not the informative boop, just a random noise. Here we are back at the base. 
And we got quite a few materials. First off, let's unload the research into the research stations. And set them going. I'm going to use this one next. There we go. And we'll place this one here for now. Uh, our battery and stuff we're fine with. We got some titanium. Thanks for pointing out that that's titanium instead of picking it up. Uh, we got some copper. We got some other materials. I'm going to put the organic on here. If I can grab the... Oh, we got two lots of copper. I'll leave the titanium. You know what? Place that on here. Oh, yeah, that can go on there, so. No, I didn't want to grab that. I went to grab the titanium. I was clearly aiming for the titanium. This game. Okay, let's actually drag the titanium with us because we want to put that over here with the other titanium, which is. We do have a crap ton of titanium now. I, I've even got one in my inventory. That's how much of it we have. I always forget I've got a shift button. Because I don't use it because it uses oxygen faster, but... We're not using oxygen right now. Why would we need to worry about that? Well, here's how much titanium we have. I can fill this entire tray with titanium and still have one left over. That's how much titanium we've got. So I'm going to put that one on there. Along with some resin. And we have aluminium and copper. Aluminium and copper are the things we need right now. Especially... Aluminium, which is going to be used to create a trade platform. And I just realized I filled up a, a section that I didn't want to fill up because it is going to be used for something. <laughs> there. We got another platform to use. Okay, so that's going to create that, and that was creating the battery, not anymore. And we've got all the hydrazine fuel we can get. We do, however, want to create some of the materials over here, but we have yet to get what we need. Well, if they're creating the trade platform, and we need, to, we need some materials to fill in this, I think what we need to do... I think I can create multiple of them at once. I'm actually going to... Okay, so I'm going to get the... Right now, I'm just going to grab the... Lithium sample that we have. We might as well make a sample dish over here. Place it over there so that we've got it on in our storage. This is our storage over here. Okay, now while that's being done, we're going to... Well, we're going to check our stores of soil. We have actually got quite a bit, actually. And this is now built. It's built it. So let's put our full stack of soil in there, and our half stack of soil in there. And add our canisters back onto our weapon. Our gun. Uh, thing. Wait, that went up. Oh, is that what it can create too? And the lines are how many it can create? Okay, the lines are how many it can create. So there's two for the coal, it can create almost three for Malachite and later, right? Although I only want to create a small number of them each. Okay, what we got here? Okay, trade platform allows us to trade one material for others, basically. Uh Say we want later ride and malachite. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab the titanium and place that on there. And we can get two malachite for the titanium. I never said it was a a perfect thing because you can get aluminium and whatnot. See, because you can't get lithium from one of those. And you can't yield titanium. But I believe if you put two on, you can get one titanium. So it's half the value of the actual material. However, that's where this device comes into play. Because 
we place this on the machine. Can I actually get a titanium back from that? No? Okay. If we place that on the machine, it actually has a value. It's a very small value, but I think... Oh god, nothing at the moment. Okay, I need uh, the other two pieces that I have over here. I'm gonna go grab the other two pieces of hydrazine, and we're gonna see if this works. Uh, hydrazine and fuel, and we're gonna use it in that to change the later right into what we want it to be. Place that on there. Is it four for one compound? It's not yielding us anything. They might have changed it. Ammonium. Okay, let me, if I put an ammonium on there, okay. The ammonium's not worth much. Or it is, but it's worth a lot. Um, no, it's not. It can't be worth all that much if it's not yielding much of anything else. Okay. In terms of compound... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm still wondering if hydrogen actually is worth anything anymore. Because I put three of them on there and it doesn't even say I can get a compound from that. Which doesn't seem like a fair trade. It's also not on the trade list here. But we do have titanium. We have a, a stockpile of titanium that we can use to get more stuff. This might just be that... Uh, they're preventing people from abusing the idea of getting infinite resources by simply creating a hydrazine farm, which was actually my original plan. So that's great. Um, but hey, now we can get ammo ammonium and stuff like that. So that's good. Also, we can go into the sky and get more stuff. We now actually have in the game overall limited resources then. To build stuff. <laughs> I, I believe you can only create one trade platform at a time. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, actually. It's a good place to put it among all my storage. So I'm going to put a titanium on here. And I'm going to go backwards and grab some later, right? And offer that as a trade. So that'll take that and that'll change it into later, right? Or ladder, right? Which I can then put into my machine over here to create more ladder, right? And same with compound, I can do the same thing. Uh, not compound, malachite, which is copper. Uh, and do the same thing. And then with this, I think if I put the fuel in, I can turn it into uh, aluminium or copper, respectively. Uh, so I'm actually going to grab that fuel tank, hydrazine. Because I want to test that. That looks like that should go on there. Right? He is stopped. I am curious. Okay, so we got some laterite. We got two pieces of laterite. And I missed the edge in that. So I'm going to grab another piece of titanium and trade it for malachite. We know it's got a limited time between this off and back, but once we've done that, we will see what we can do with it. I'm actually going to grab one of the laterites. They're not, not sure what to do with the ammonium yet. Okay, so this is off, so it won't create anything from, so I'm going to place that there for now. Uh, laterite, 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 la 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 la. That one's done as well. Nice. That means this will have full speed when it goes for it. Um, we do have the th we have the fuel thing, don't we? We want to create, see what it does. Uh, we got a main fuel thing, but if I Q examine, oh, that makes a lot of noise when it comes back. Not large platform, not smelter. We got mineral extractor. Hydrazine catalyzer. We do have the copper for that too. So I'm actually going to create that. That's actually kind of why I wanted to make the other materials. So we're going to go, get, get a hydrazine catalyzer. And now we have the materials to make uh, copper. 
malachite, for copper and laterite, for aluminium. Now I want to see if this works using the fuel thing or whether it's just a power thing. So I'm going to turn it on. It is smelting and hydrazine is not being used. Okay, so that's actually using power as well to create from those. But hydrazine isn't used for much of anything. <laughs> Except fueling your ship still. Okay. Um, even It can't even be traded anymore, which is the worst part. Um, well, I guess next we're exploring the, the universe, but what we want to create isn't a medium battery, but a habitat. So we actually do need two more copper. Which we don't have. We've got a lot of aluminium and nothing else. So I can either trade for copper directly. Right. I can either trade for copper directly or I can recreate the copper or, uh, sorry, recreate the malachite to create copper or I can do this. Uh, sorry, I can put. I can put Put malachite in there, create more copper, uh, create more malachite, which in turn would create more copper. Which ca I can do, considering I've got the materials to do so. Or I could trade uh, more titanium for malachite and smelt that. So I can smelt either one, really. You know what, let's extract those resources. So we've got a piece of copper here. We actually only need one more piece of copper. So that's the thing. And it's halfway through doing, done with the aluminium. So this will keep doing whatever you put on here. Interesting. That's sweet. That, that's good. Uh, I want that copper. This is going to be interesting. We've actually got a manufacturing plant going. And I've got nowhere to put this. Right now. A little titanium on here. Let's move it all over. Place that on there and unpack. Also, I've just noticed the trade platform actually doesn't require any power. This, however, will do, so. Let's place it a bit further away. Move this one over. So at least has oxygen. And then, uh... Catch that to there. So that they power each other. This apparently doesn't need any power, so I can just could just place it anywhere. In fact, I'm gonna move it a bit further back. Oh. Further back. There we go, we got a nice setup there, I think. Around those nodes. Now this... What does this do? Well, by the looks of it, I need ammonia. Ammonium. And I need to put some canisters in there. It's a hydrazine reactant. Meaning what exactly? Yeah, I put that titanium on there. Um, can't do anything with it because it doesn't have any canisters. We do have a hydrazine canister here. Well, it looks like I need to fill that up with canister, or at least uh, up to. Two of them? Let's take one off. I'm adding more. Interesting. Diamond backpack. So it needs two. We do have three.
Do we need an empty canister at the top there? I'm pretty sure I can provide one of those. I don't understand what it wants from me. I put a hydrazine canister here. The canister does have an O on it. Oh. It only needs the empty one. God damn it. Stop it. Needed to be inside, jeez. Okay, we've been going for 41 minutes, uh, and a storm's over top, so we're gonna leave this off here. So thanks everyone so much for watching. For now, we're done here. See ya. <laughs> Let's go leave this off because I we're well over time. I'm curious about what that thing does. Why? It's supposed to be a hydrazine reactor, but it doesn't. You don't combine it with hydrazine. Oh, I left them on the floor. Oh, please don't knock away. <laughs>